Head on out to this family farm east of Des Moines here. and you'll find a kind of accidental U.S. election celebrity. Even as Barney Barrenfuse gets on with his work, he's on TV screens and smartphones across America. In a new commercial meant to highlight support for Bernie Sanders, watch carefully. See the boy with the lamb and that family? Well, here they are. Sanders supporters from Iowa in that ad underlining when it comes to presidential politics, Iowa matters. If you are interested at all in politics, it's, there's no better place to be. And the idea that you really can talk to the candidates, you really can listen to the candidates, um, I feel it's pretty important. Every four years, Iowans cast the first votes toward nominating those who will contest the White House. And so every four years, the state is inundated with politicians, and they're open to all of them. If you're a nobody, we might give you the time of day, and we might give you that chance to hear you, and that's democracy. Now, if you're wondering why Iowa has such influence, you're not alone. After all, the state is mostly rural, with a tiny population where half the people here go to church weekly, and nine out of 10 Iowans are Caucasian, and yet, the symbolism of being first counts, a circumstance celebrated in the state capitol. When did this place open? Well, this exhibit opened in October of 2015. It's the Des Moines the Museum is littered with reminders of those who've come here thinking White House. Prime exhibit, a Jimmy Carter t-shirt. Jimmy Carter, Governor Carter at the time, actually saw uh, Iowa's opportunity to jump out in front of the field. So the candidate with that highly prized political momentum tonight is Jimmy Carter. In 76, Carter came out of nowhere to win Iowa. Suddenly, voters paid attention to Jimmy Carter, and he never looked back. And the winning here is by no means a ticket to the White House. It's been deemed a critical first step ever since. Do well here, and maybe you're on the way. Do poorly and it's time for a rethink. We don't necessarily pick who goes on, although we have in the last two uh, with, with President Bush and President Obama. Um, Iowa is typically known for winnowing the field down to three candidates from each party. Say those who've watched it all play out for decades. I think people in Iowa take, take this role pretty seriously. I mean, they've been told for years they're so important they've actually come to believe it. <laughs> and uh, it, it is an important test, people know that. It's also kind of fun. Part of the appeal is how up close voters can get with those who have eyes on the White House. Here, while Ted Cruz rallies the crowd up front, his wife works the room out back. Voters love it. You know, we get to see the candidates face to face. And Heidi Cruz was just back here second high. Well, Cruz is one of the top two candidates. She could be first lady. And she was signing autographs and she was a uh, you know, how many states do you get that? Most states you don't get that. The total number of delegates that come out of your Democratic caucus. Then there's the actual voting, known as caucusing. It's a bit complicated, so this week they held a how-to seminar for first-time voters with celebrity names as presidential candidates. Can I have a few of you over for us to make us viable? And though Republicans do it differently, on caucus night, Democrats will meet like this. I'm going to go to Pharrell then. Come on. I like Pharrell. Let's do Pharrell. To convince each other who to back before they do a head count. The first impression of the country. And it's so important for people to turn out for this kind of thing. And even though, yeah, this kind of play out is kind of funny and silly, but it's how it really works. Equal pay for women, paid family leave. Meanwhile, at an Iowa college outside Des Moines, former President Bill Clinton makes his case for Hillary. Clinton himself is evidence Iowa doesn't always get it right. He came fourth on his first try here, but it's clear. Clinton knows the value of a strong showing in Iowa. When CBC asked, can Hillary win without Iowa? Oh, I don't want to talk about that. All I know is I think she'd be the best president. That's my job. Fresh from the room with Clinton, these young voters love the process. Oh, it really helps, to be honest. I met Biden four years ago. I met Hillary a few weeks ago. I saw Bernie the other day, and I met the president of Planned, uh, president of Planned Parenthood. And to get the personal perspective of all these people from all these candidates gives you 
the exact impression that you're looking for before you go caucus or before you go vote. There's something, there is something organic about that, and there's also something kind of heartwarming about that. That, you know, the, the leader of the United States of America has to pass muster with real Americans here in the heartland of the country. And so tomorrow night, Iowans will gather and decide and send a signal to the rest of the country. And if tradition holds, the rest of the country will listen. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Grinnell, Iowa.